as we all know react is a javascript library so if you are planning to get started with react and if you want to learn react then you should be having understanding of javascript because react is a javascript library so the concept which are used in javascript are almost using react as well so before starting with react you should be having some javascript essentials that is most important javascript topics which will always be used in react so this you should always be having in your notes so that whenever you start with react or if you make any project in react you will feel easy and also you will not be having any burden because you already know javascript and in that also you are aware of the topics which are widely used in react so in this session i will be showing you the most javascript important topics and later on one video for each topic in which i will be explaining you completely from zero to expert level i will be giving you step by step explanation of every topic so that for whatever reason you are using those topics in react you will be having complete understanding as well as you will be aware of those topics and you will completely understand why these concepts are used in react so it is very important before learning react you learn javascript and in that also you should be having understanding of most javascript important topics so let us start with table of content and later on i will be uploading one video for every topic if you are having any doubt at any point you can comment down your doubts i will be making a separate video on that doubts and i will be clearing your doubts so let's get started first topic destructuring objects so in react this concept is widely used let it be smaller project or bigger project this concept is widely used then destructuring arrays how we are destructuring objects similar way we can destructure arrays okay later on you do not if you are not aware of this concept you do not have to worry later on you will understand completely about these topics next comes rest operator very very important then we have spread operator similar pattern then comes strings and template literals so these concepts are widely used and it is used in every project not only these topics but whatever topics i will be showing you later that also used widely in react then next comes ternary operator for displaying the data in one line based on the condition if you want to display the data or if you do not want to display the data then ternary operator is widely used instead of if else statement then we have functions once you learn functions you will understand the importance of functions in react as well functions also there are many ways of displaying it we have declaration and we have expression so one by one we will understand and also we will see what is the difference between these two types of functions then comes how to call other functions if i am having one function and if i am having another function and that function how should i call in the first function so you should be having clear understanding of this then comes arrow function this is also very very widely used so if you are doing any call back or something like that in one line if you want to do that then you can use arrow functions instead of this regular functions then comes short circuiting this is also widely used based on the condition we can display the data or else we cannot display the data how we did for ternary operator if else statement if one condition is true that will be displayed or else another will be displayed but short circuiting is different we will learn about short circuiting then comes optional chaining this is also very important then nullish coalescing operator this operator was introduced in es20 and also when you learn about short circuiting optional chaining and this operator we will be combining all these things and we will display beautiful result so these are very very important topics and in this 
we have some minute details which are very important in bigger projects then higher order methods array map method okay no doubt widely used filter method widely used then we have array reduced method this is also widely used in react then we have sorting method okay this is not widely used but still you should be aware of sort method because you will understand the difference between map method filter method and reduce method these three methods map reduce and filter they will be creating new array and in that based on their features array will be updated but sort is not like that sort will be updating the original array itself but react will not accept that so we will learn about immutable arrays okay how we can do the sort without changing the original array we will combine both these topics and then you will understand why we should learn sort method then comes asynchronous javascript promises you should learn how to fetch the data how to get the data from the api how to display that data if you are having some error how to show that error and almost the entire thing related to promises then comes async await widely widely used if you are using any functions then how should we make that function as async function how do we wait for the response so you should be having understanding of asynchronous javascript and in that also you should be very well aware of promises and async await so these are 20 most important widely topics which you will be using in react almost entire time so if you are already aware of these topics then also you can continue with this playlist because i will be explaining you completely from the depth from zero understanding and you will understand to expert level once you learn these topics you will be confident enough to get started with react so let's get started with our react journey by building solid foundation in javascript so thank you so much for watching if you are having any doubts you can comment down or else you can message me in instagram that's all for this session thank you so much for watching have a great day